Hey folks, and welcome to my latest video, which is uh, going to show you how to set up your Emotion RC Vortex 285 with a uh, FlySky transmitter and matching receiver. So this is my first um, racing quad. Uh, it's the almost ready to fly version. And uh, my first um, quad that's not ready to fly. And uh, I say almost ready to fly. It's kind of like buying a car without any steering or brakes. Uh, it's it's quite a long way from being ready to fly. And um, all the instructions I found online and the videos, um, they were either for the Taranis uh, transmitter or they, just didn't, uh, or they just didn't cover some of this detail. So I thought, right, I've worked it out how to do it myself and I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. So when you uh, buy your FlySky transmitter, uh, an FS16 this, or I6 this is, uh, you get this receiver with it as well. And you need to attach this onto the, the back of your quad here so I've done that with some sticky back Velcro. Uh, just place it on the back there. Um, it comes with these two um, aerials, which are supposed to stay at 90 degrees to each other. So to make that happen, I've just put a couple of uh, tie wraps onto some useful slots in the back of the quad frame there. And I've actually kept spacing with some, some sticky tape and just sticky tape into that, you know, if it, if it does, uh, wear out or anything it's, it's quite easy to fix and it's unlike this brake because it's got not got much it's got a lot of flexibility um, and then when the quad's flying they kind of hang down there like that slightly below it and um, and even if it's upside down you'll notice um, they don't go up into the uh, props because you've got to chop your aerials off obviously so on the back of the um, the vortex you've got this three pin connector here and that wants to go in uh, PPM channel one. So you plug that in there like that. And for the longest time, um, I couldn't get that to work. Um, but I'll show you what should happen and I'll show you how I got it to, to work as well. So now you keep your props off when you're doing this sort of stuff. Safety tip there. So I'm gonna power up the quad, first beeps. And what should happen is this red LED light should start to flash. And that's what wasn't happening with me. Um, and I tried it half a dozen times. In the end, I ended up plugging that into one of the other channels and the red light started to come on. And then forever after, it's worked fine on the PPM channel one. So a little tip there, if, if your receiver's not powering up, try plugging it in and powering it up on one of the other channels. So that's that's the setup work done on the, on the quad, but the other, um, important thing you've got to do is program the transmitter and receiver to behave in the right way for the uh, the vortex. So I'm just going to show you. Um, oops, just warning you to put all the switches in the up position and the throttle in the bottom position. Be very safety conscious. So I'm going to show you the the critical settings that I made. Um, well, I'm going to show you all the settings I made. I'm not sure how critical some of them are. Um, you've got these four buttons here which control this menu system. So you press OK to get to the menu. And we're going to go into system um, and we're going to go to, I, I did change the model name to Vortex01. You don't really need to do that, but you know, hey, why not? Um, I've also set it to helicopter fixed pitch. I have uh, tried it with the airplane glider and that still seems to work, although I haven't flown it any, any great distance in that mode. But anyway, I found helicopter fixed pitch worked okay for me. Um, but then there's two really crucial settings that you do have to do to fly this thing safety, safely, or at all, in fact. So the first thing you need to do is in the RX setup, um, this PPM output, uh, that needs to be on. By default, it was off. So you just use the up and down set it on. And then to save a setting, quite counterintuitively, you have to hold the cancel button down. So yeah, you press cancel to save settings. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so I'll just go back to the very top menu. So that's the one crucial thing, PPN mode to on. And the other thing you need to do is the auxiliary channels, hit OK. You want to make sure channel five is set to switch C. So this is switch C up here. And what that will do is um, enable you to control the flight modes of your vortex. Um, so again, it's just a matter of so it's changing switch A, switch B, switch C, and again, cancel to save that. 
Um, and what that means is that this switch now controls the flight mode that your Vortex will fly in. And by default, it will fly in acro mode, which is the hardest mode to fly. And for a beginner like me, extremely difficult to land. Taking off is easy, landing's hard, because when you've got a bit of um, angle on the quad, with the there's no centering um, stability of the quad, it'll stay at that angle even if the stick's back to the center. Um, so yeah, that's its default behavior. And if you don't program this switch to channel five, you can't change that. Um, so yeah, now that's, that's, so in the top position there, that's the acro mode. In the middle position, it's angle mode, which is the sort of self-leveling mode. And in the bottom position, it's horizon mode, which is kind of a bit self-leveling, according to the manual anyway. So those are the key things you have to do. Uh, and then you should be ready to just hold the right stick down and power up the motors. So yeah, that's it. That's how to set up your um, Vortex 285 with a FlySky transmitter. And um, one of the other things I haven't got yet um, so I am going to do some flying videos, but I haven't got a Mobius or a uh, GoPro camera to go on the front of it. So <laughs> a special mod I've got. I've actually got a JJRC little mini quad with a recording 720p camera on the front mounted upside down because it actually points down normally. So now it's pointing upward slightly. And I'm going to record some videos with that set up. Obviously I've taken the props off. Um, I'm pretty sure the 350 megawatt, uh, sorry, milliwatt uh, transmitter of the... Uh, of the Vortex will overpower the, the piddly 25 milliwatt one from the JGRC there. Um, but yes, let's see how that ill-advised experiment goes. I'll, I'll upload the video of that. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more racing quad excitement. Cheerio!